today I'm going to be giving you an introduction to the material nodes in, for the Blender game engine, the GLSL nodes. So it can be used for the game engine or for in the viewport, whatever you like. I'm just going to give you a quick introduction for anyone that doesn't know how to set it up and get it ready. And just a few things you can do. So if you already know how to use it, go ahead and watch some other tutorials on my channel if you'd like to. But if you don't know how to use it and you've come here to learn how to, go ahead and continue with this tutorial. Alright, so I am here in Blender. So one of the things we want to go ahead and do is make sure we are in GLSL. So the way we can do that is we can click in, hovering over the viewport, and scroll down here until we find shading. Now it could be closed or it could be open. So what you want to go ahead and do is just make sure it's open. Come down here to this panel right here, the shading panel, and we're going to change it the render type here from micro texture to GLSL. So once we click that, um, it should all work. All right. So now that it's set up, we're also going to go ahead, go ahead and come here, and we're going to click here, and we're going to go texture. So now you can see the GLSL shading is working, and if we add a plane, you can see it working even more. Let me just move this all up just a little bit so I don't get that grid because it looks ugly. Anyway, so there we go. There's our basic shading setup. So let's say we want to do something with this, um, with the material note. So we, um, I'm going to have an example. I'm going to teach you the basic things on how to add materials and stuff, and then later on I'm going to show you how to do alpha. So the example we're going to be doing later on is when we get close to it, we want it to fade out, and when we go further away, we want it to um, appear again. So the closer you are, the more transparent it is, the further away you, the less transparent it is. All right. So let's go ahead and open up the node editor. So what we can go ahead and do is we can close this panel with N, and we can go ahead and click on here and drag across. So this will create two windows. Now the reason we're doing that is we can now come down here and change this from the 3D view to the node editor. So once you've clicked that, you can see this is showing up. So we're going to come down here to the material or shader nodes as they're called here. So we're going to click on that and we'll see that showing up. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we want to click this use nodes. Making sure we have a material showing up here. So we could call this node um, we call this, let's call this node. Oh, can't see what I'm typing. We're going to call this node material. All right. So let's go ahead and close that with N as well to close that side panel there. I'm going to move this across so we have more room here. And we're going to click use nodes. So once we've done that, you can see that it's changed this all around. So we have a few more options over here. So we can change it if it's if we enable transparency on this and so on through this panel right here. Now, if you want the game engine settings, you're also going to need to change your Blender game and you can have all the settings like back face culling and all of this stuff. All right. So now that we've done that, we need to create a material for this. So we have this main material, which is holding all of this. But what we need to do is have a material inside of this node set up that's going to act as our material and catch all the light and stuff. So this main material is just now like a group, basically. It's just grouping all of these nodes together and it's telling it to go on this object. So we actually need a material in here. So we're going to create a new material and it's easy enough to do. This node right here, it says new and it's going to create a new material. All right, so you can see we have our new material here. So we have a few options here. Um, you see we have option to plug in color, specular, and diffuse, and all this kind of stuff. So if you're not really familiar with nodes, as you can see by connecting different stuff together, we can make stuff, uh, different stuff happen. So we can connect the color in, and that, as you can see here, it's showing up here, um, we've got the color affecting the alpha because we plug that in there so by connecting different things up we can do different stuff so we can connect the texture into color and then do all kinds of stuff with that um always connecting the specular and we're going to be able to change all of those settings nodes are really powerful and it's worth learning how to use them all right all right now after that little rant what i'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to show i'm going to show you sorry how to connect a texture up to this so we're going to have a texture that goes into this color slot 
Um, so we can do a lot more advanced stuff than what we're going to do today, but this is just going to show you the basics and you can work off that to create better stuff. So let's go ahead and add a Shift A input texture, and then we can go Shift A input geometry. Then we're going to go ahead and connect the UV in to here, and we're going to connect the color into the color. Now you can see here we have all these different types. Now this is equivalent to if we come over here to the material panel and create a new texture, sorry, the texture panel and create a new texture. This is equivalent to this mapping here, as you can see. So that's basically equivalent to it. So one thing you're gonna to need to do, which is really annoying, you can't do it here. You're gonna to have to go ahead and get the file in here. So we're gonna open, open up a file. So I'm gonna go ahead and find that. All right, so we've added that file and you can see it's kind of showing up, but we've got um, this problem. And the reason for that is it's showing up on the, te the, the actual material and it's got color here. So, um, and it's got no UV mapping. So that's just why we're getting one color. So we don't actually want that because we want to be able to do different stuff with this if we want to. So we can go ahead and remove this, grab it here. So we're going to open it up here and you'll see that material we just created is showing up here. You might want to give it a name before you delete it off that list. All right, so now you can see it's showing up and it's doing the same thing. But um, as you can see, it's coming from this material, not actually the, sorry, from this texture, not the actual materials texture which is what we want because we can change stuff for this. So what we can go ahead and do now is we're going to go U in edit mode, U, reset. So what that's going to go ahead and do is this is going to unwrap it in a really, really, really basic way, but it works for a cube and for our needs. So as you can see here, it's unwrapped and it's showing up correctly. All right. So there's different settings you can do here. You can disable and enable sh um, shadows and stuff. And we can also go invert normals. And what this is going to do is it's going to, the lights basically are going to come from the opposite direction. So as you can see, this is getting lit up when this normally would because we're inverting the normals. Um, that's useful for some stuff depending on what you want to do, but mostly you're not going to need it. Um, so the reason we can do, we want this is, Normal mapping, you can't do too much, but with using Node Editor, what we can go ahead and do is stuff like this. So we can go ahead and convert, add, add a converter, um, vector math, and we're gonna add that in, view. And as you can see, it's mixing them, it's adding them together and we get this kind of effect, which is quite neat and cool. So as you can see, there we are getting our Vector math showing up. Sorry, our, our, our mapping is showing up here and it's mapping in a different way. So this is the reason you want to be able to do this because you can do a lot more advanced stuff. Now this is really basic and unthought out. You're going to want to think about this and learn how this actually works if you want to do anything useful with vector math. But if you do not, you can create really cool stuff as I've seen people do. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just remove that. So I'm just going to switch this back to UV. All right, and we're going to go ahead and just leave everything as it is. Now, one thing to note as well, you can do the normal things. You could add a mix and then mix between two materials. You could duplicate this down, change your material, so on and so forth. So it's just pretty normal stuff just with nodes, and um, there's, there's quite a bit you can do. But anyway, so one thing you might notice is if we go ahead and connect this color in to the alpha, it's showing up here as the alpha is working, but it's not actually showing up here. So the reason for that is it's a normal thing. You need to enable transparency for objects. We can go ahead and enable transparency here. And you can see it's working. Now, making sure you're in the Blender game, of course, you have all these options, back face culling off or on, visible. I'm not really sure what this ever did. Um, I, I've never known what that does. So if you do know what it does, please tell me. Anyway, that's a bit off topic. Let's say, as I said in the start of the tutorial, we want to change how transparent it is from the distance it's away. So what we can go ahead and do is remove this. And what we're going to go ahead and do is add a um, input camera data. We're going to add that in and we're going to connect this up to the color for now. So you can see it working now. If we zoom in really close, you can see it's going to black and white. But we want a larger distance. So how 
do we change this? Well, we can go Shift A, um, Converter Math, add that in, change this to Divide, and then just change this number up to something high. So now you can see when we get close and further away, it changes the color. All right? So as you can see, it's tran sorry, transparency. So as you can see, it's changing transparency. Now if we connect this into color, you can see it's getting transparent and less transparent so when you get closer and further away. So there we go. Now, um, that's just the basics. If you want to see more tutorials and tutorials and more advanced things, I do have more tutorials on these logic nodes. I just wanted to give everyone a quick introduction on how, sorry, material nodes. I just wanted to give everyone a, everyone a quick introduction on how to use them. So if you want to see more tutorials like this and tutorials on other subjects, I do come out with a new tutorial every single week. So you can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and subscribe, and you'll see those every single week. If you have any questions about these tutorials, uh, this tutorial, or you have a request for a tutorial, go ahead and comment down below, and I can I'll see what I can do for you. Um, but have a great week, keep blundering, and make something cool. And if you're still listening at this point, then you're an awesome person. <laughs>